InDesign CC introduced font menu enhancements that made searching and managing fonts in InDesign easier than ever. Because we know how critical font management is to your workflow, we are continuing to improve on font management with additional improvements in this update. Let me show you what we did. In InDesign CC, the first thing we notice when we work with fonts is that now we have the ability to preview them. We can also star the fonts that we use frequently. For example, if I used Andale Mono frequently, and maybe let's not, let's not take Arial, but maybe the, let me just go down a little bit more, or up here, Adele, for example. If these fonts I use very frequently, I can star them. And that means that I can then filter through them by clicking the little star. I filter by favorite fonts. And I only see the favorite fonts here in my type menu. The other thing that we can do here, is, of course, is also search through fonts. So if I'm looking for Bangla, all I need to do is to start typing the first letters, making it very, very easy to search through very long lists of fonts that may be on your computer. So let's go back here and check out these two new buttons here. Because with Creative Cloud, our members can actually access Typekit fonts that can be downloaded to the desktop. Yes, Typekit fonts for the desktop, which can then be used in InDesign, in Photoshop, in Illustrator, in any application, really. So what we've done, we've made it easier to actually filter through the fonts that are taken from Typekit here. So if I press the Typekit button, these are all the fonts that I'm using in my version of InDesign that are coming from Typekit. Or if I look for a new font for this text, for example, what I can do now is press this other button, which allows me to browse fonts directly on Typekit. Let me show you how it works. Let's click that. My browser opens. And we go to the page where we have the Typekit font list here. And we see that we have the possibility to choose between web use and desktop use. What we're interested in here is, of course, the desktop use. And we have hundreds of fonts readily available for you. And if I browse down this list, or if I search for specific properties like the weight of the letters, or the width, or the contrast, or even if I go up here, I can choose to look for fonts that are sans serif, or with serifs, or slab serifs, or decorative fonts. Let's choose a decorative font for our text in InDesign. Let's go down here and see what types of fonts we have. And let's select one. Uh, let's take this one here, Copal Standard Solid, for example. I'm going to say Use Fonts. And then in Typekit, I'm going to say Sync that font to my computer using Creative Cloud. And Creative Cloud now tells me the font Copal Standard Solid Regular was added. So basically, what we have now is the font on my desktop. Okay, We've chosen it from Typekit, and now it is on my desktop. So let's go back to InDesign. And I can select that text with my Type tool, select All. And let's go down here, filter through the Typekit fonts so I can find it quicker. And let's use Copal Standard on that font. And here we are. So very, very easily, right from InDesign, I was able to find the font that I wanted to use for that text on Typekit, download it to my computer, filter through it in my fonts menu, and apply it very, very quickly. So these new features make it easier to find, download, and manage Typekit desktop fonts into InDesign CC.